Hey everybody, before I get started, I just want to do a shout out to James Cox and the hashtag I am a creator community. They're going to do the hashtag I am a creator thon 7 this coming Saturday from 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time through 10 p.m. And if you've not already joined up with this community, I would encourage you to do so if you want to see the support for your channels grow. There are other creators who are supporting each other, watching each other's videos all of the way through, tweeting them, sharing them out, adding them to playlists. And James Cox, Vern Vlogs, BTD, Hazel Ure, and the list goes on of people who are working tirelessly to make this an awesome community. So I would encourage you to come on over live this coming Saturday, starting at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Anyway, I wanted to share this video. Uh, Anna and I got to visit the cemeteries, three cemeteries for Memorial Day. Sunday we visited the Chamber Cemetery in Jeffersonville, Kentucky. That's where my husband's buried and a lot of my um, brother-in-law's uh, family and Herman Chambers. And my husband's sister Maxine's buried there. And we met up with some of, hey, of uh, J.L.'s family. His second oldest brother, Daly, and his wife came in from Ohio. Their daughter, Sandy, drove them. Daly is, I think, about 89 now. And they're just wonderful people. But J.L.'s oldest brother, Jesse, and his wife, Geraldine, were not able to make the trip. I think Jesse's about 91 or 92 now. And they're just wonderful people. And then we went to McPila Cemetery in Mount Sterling to visit some graves of my my uh, father and mother-in-law and some sister-in-laws and several aunts and uncles of J.L.'s is buried there and a lot of people that I personally know, family and friends. And I noticed a lot of veterans that are buried there. It's a big city cemetery. And then yesterday, Anna and I got to go to Ashland, Kentucky. That's where my dad's buried and a lot of my, my relatives. And my dad is in the Ashland Cemetery alongside a cousin of ours, Harry Eugene Rice. My dad and Harry were both veterans during uh, the Korean War. Uh, the Korean War. Harry was in the Navy. My dad was in the Air Force, who also served in Vietnam. And then we went and visited a cousin, a dear cousin of mine. He was my grandmother on my dad's side. That was her first cousin, Thomas Ross. He was in the Navy during World War II. He's 92 now. Sadly, we lost his wife, Salova, a few years ago, but Tom is still here. And we got to go see him and another cousin of mine, Everett Reeves, who served in the United States Army. And then I had an uncle who served during World War II who was present at Pearl Harbor when Pearl Harbor was bombed during World War II. So I have a long line of veterans in my family. And I served during the Desert Storm between 1990 and 1994. So if you know a veteran, if if you have a family member who is a veteran, give them a hug and tell them how much you appreciate their sacrifice. And I found out that the last surviving World War I veteran was actually a woman. She was a British citizen. Her name was Florence Green, and she sadly died on February the 4th, 2012, and she was 110 years old. And on the average, there are 372 of our World War II veterans dying per day and during 2016, there were only 620,000 of the 16 million still living who served during World War II. So they're leaving here quickly. And freedom is never free. They've made the ultimate sacrifice. Some of them laid their, a lot of them laid their lives down and gave the ultimate sacrifice. Their um, spouses and their children sacrificed while their loved ones were over fighting these wars. So I want to do a shout out to every man and woman that served, to every spouse, to every child who has sacrificed while their parent was over defending our freedoms. And so I hope you enjoy this video of our travels from uh, Mount Sterling, Jeffersonville, and Ashland yesterday while we were visiting the cemeteries. And God bless you all, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Hey everybody, I'm here at the Chamber Cemetery in Jeffersonville, Kentucky, where my husband's buried. You might have seen my video the other day where I was talking about having to get the 
um, help my brother-in-law get the cemetery ready for Memorial Day. And uh, this is the cemetery, and we're meeting all of my husband's um, family and my brother-in-law, Herman Chambers. Um, he was married to um, Jail's sister, Maxine, and he's remarried now to Judy Conway. But Herman's, this is the Chamber Cemetery where a lot of Herman's family's buried, and um, Jail's sister, Maxine's buried here, and Jail's buried here, and this is where I'm going to be. But anyway, we're meeting all of Jay's family and Herman's family up here today for Memorial Day. So I thought I'd do a quick video and show you all where this is. It's beautiful, and there's a big pond across the road. It's on Highway 1050 in Jeffersonville. And we came up the other day and mowed and weed eated and uh, put flowers on the graves. And uh, it's just a really beautiful place and peaceful. And I know that my husband would be really pleased with where this work um, I had him buried. But I'm going to turn this around so y'all can see. Anyway, there's some really old graves here. Um, there's a baby's marker and, um, let's see, this one's 1897 to 1965 at Chambers. Let's see, there's one, somebody passed away at Chambers in 1991. And let me, I don't want to pan this too fast. Uh, my daughter's here with me. Um, my husband's uh, next to oldest brother, Daley Carpenter. He's here with his wife, Elvie, and their daughter, uh, Sandy, is here. And some of Herman's grandkids are here. Let me pan over here. Some of these markers are so old you can't hardly read what they say. Like that one. I think the date on there... When they died is um, 1878. I think the birth date, I think, is 1852. And then there's some uh, ground markers that are really, really old that you can't, the, the writing, you can't even see the writing on them anymore. There's that one, and there's one clear over here. This is the very upper end. It's not a real big cemetery. It's a nice, quaint little cemetery. Herman's family members, his parents, and I guess grandparents and brothers and sisters have been buried here for years and years. And then uh, my sister-in-law, Maxine, was buried here when she died. Uh, maybe three or four years before J.L. did. So when Jay passed away, Herman told me to just have, that I could uh, have J.L. buried here next to Maxine. And then... I've still got to get a permanent marker. I've just got a little marker made out of concrete that I made. Just temporary until I can uh, get a permanent monument because I want both of our names on it and our wedding dates and everything. But we came up the other day, a few days ago, to mow and weed eat. And then we came back and put some flowers on the graves. And then uh, some other people put some flowers on the graves. There's 1854 to 1917, and that's Robert W. Chambers, and then Sarah was 1858 to 1910, so there's some really old graves up here, but it is beautiful. Here in a minute, I'll show you the, the pond across the road. Hey, Sophie. I should know it Hey, Sophie. How much more do you want to lose, David? Oh, this is one of uh, Herman, my brother-in-law's oh, little great-granddaughters. Yeah, I got to get down. That was at 270, so I've got to get down to 230 at least. Wait a minute. She calls me Sophia. Yeah, that is so dirty. cute. That's pretty good, wasn't it? That's been about yeah, a month. That, well, well, I'd, I'd, I'd like to lose a little more. Yeah. Leora. 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 Say hi for the camera. Here comes Herman. Hi, baby. There's Herman. Yeah. He says that he gets dizzy. You know, there's David uh, Daniels. Lisa, right there is Kathleen, one of program, jail sisters. Yeah. 
Yeah. One of her grandkids. Yeah. So I put Abby on. And there's Abby lost Daly left pounds, just like that. Sitting next to David. Well, I tell you what, if you'll do, Abby, Jill's if you'll leave the oldest if brother leave, uh, and his wife, Elvie. Yeah. If you'll, if you'll. Anyway, I'm going to go down uh, here and show the pond across the road. 30 carbs for less today. Yeah. This is Maxine's yeah. monument there. When she went off, of, see when did she off. pass away? 2011. She uh, almost, her, almost four years down. before jail. Okay. There's Herman. Huh? My brother-in-law. Yeah. Last two or three minutes. Last two or three minutes. Being 12:30. <laughs> And this grave right here, um, Herman and Maxine lost a baby back in the early 60s. Their first baby in 1962. Her name was Lisa. And then there goes Leora. Okay, this is my husband's grave. J.L. Um... We didn't have any life insurance or anything like that when he passed away suddenly. And um, I've not been able to get a permanent marker, but I got the idea to make one out of concrete. So Anna helped me put his name and everything on there. And uh, I'm going to use that until I can get a permanent, permanent marker. And then uh, Herman and Judy helped me to get the this bigger flower and then I bought that little one the same day and then his brother and some of his other family members came up put these other flowers on here but it's beautiful here I love it but anyway when the Lord decides to call me home this is where I'm going to be unless the Lord comes back before I leave here and then over here that's Highway 1050 runs through here. It's just a little rural two-lane road. I don't know if you can see that. But there's the... If I can... There's the pond. It's across the road. Anyway, I didn't do this live because I didn't know if I'd get a very good signal up in here or not. And then Herman's... Herman has a twin brother named Sherman, and his wife Betty died several years ago, and that's her monument right there. Leora's a calling me. Hold on. Let me see, baby. What do you see? A butterfly. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, it flew away. Uh-oh. And say hi, Anna. Hi. That's my daughter, Anna. Yeah, it's me. And, um... You need to give uh, Leora some attention. Tell Sophia I that know she it. needs to listen to you. I know it. Well, Leora, say bye to everybody, and I'm going to turn the camera off so that I can visit with you, okay? okay. Say bye. Can you say bye? Leora. She don't want to say bye. Say bye. I'm going to turn it off. Anyway, I had to stop the camera for a minute and visit with Leora and some of the other family. I'm going to have to shut the camera off here in a few minutes and go visit with them. Um, my husband's uh, next to oldest brother, Daly, he's right at 90 and his wife, and uh, I think they got married in 1950, and then Jail's oldest brother, um, Jesse, he's not in good enough health uh, to make the trip, um, and he's 91 or 92 now, and I tell you what, um, God really blessed me when he put me in this family. Um, Jail and I had a wonderful 16 years together. Um, although Jay was a lot older than me, we met through music. And so when I came into this family, I kind of came into it late, later. And they embraced me as if I had always been a part of this family. 
And then I got acquainted with Herman's family, the, the Chambers, and they have all been good to me. All of J.L.'s nieces and nephews and all of J.L.'s brothers and sisters. And I, I couldn't have asked for better in-laws. They are just so sweet. And when I was traveling with Stump Kicker Ministry a few years ago, we were up in Ohio um, daily lives in Middletown, and I think Jesse lives in Dayton. So I got to stay with Junior and Elvie um, daily. They call him Junior. Um, his dad's name was Daly, and that's how he got Junior. But I got to stay with them for about two weeks, and I just, I had a wonderful time visiting with them. And uh, Jesse's um, wife's name is Geraldine. And I think they got married probably in about 1948, somewhere around in there so jl the jl was like three or four i think he was born in 44 so by the time junior and uh jesse married jl just could barely remember it and so jl i think is the next to the youngest and kathleen is the youngest and then they had a little brother named grover who passed away in infancy but this is just a wonderful family and uh herman chambers uh, has been just wonderful to me, and Jail and I lived behind Herman and Maxine for years, and I lived there, that's where I was living, when Jail passed away in 2015. And then he remarried Judy, well, she was a Conway, but then her husband died um, from something similar to Alzheimer's, and her married name, I think, was McAuliffe or something like that. And uh, so he remarried, and... Herman and Judy has just been absolutely wonderful to me. Herman is a minister. He evangelizes and pastored a church up above Frenchburg for years. And my father-in-law, Daly, he passed away years before I met J.L., and he was a pastor and an evangelist. So I have just really been blessed with a really great family. And since J.L. passed away, uh, they have just been absolutely wonderful to me. And so when uh, Jay passed suddenly and Herman told me to go ahead and have Jay buried up here in the Chamber Cemetery, I mean, I couldn't have found a better place. I mean, it's just so peaceful. I like to come up here sometimes. We had put a concrete bench up here right after Maxine uh, passed away. My mom gave it to us. Uh, Jay and I used When we had a furniture store, we also sold concrete lawn ornaments. And we had given my mom and dad this concrete bench. Well, she gave it back to us after Maxine died, and we brought it up here, put it in the cemetery. So sometimes I like to just come up here and sit on it and just, uh, it's just really peaceful. But anyway, I'm going to get off of here. And I just wanted to share um, Memorial Day and this family cemetery with you all. What are you doing? Okay, everybody. Me and Ann is in the car. Ann and I. That was bad English. Anyway. We're on our way to the McPillis Cemetery, which is in Mount Sterling, Kentucky, and that's where JL's mom and dad are buried, and two of my sister-in-laws are buried there, and OG and Sue, and OG's husband Don is buried there, and um, the rest of the family are on their way there, and we had to stop by a store in Jeffersonville and get us something to drink on the way there. Thank you, Anna. So anyway, I'm going to end this, and uh, I'll see you at the make Pillow Cemetery in a few minutes. Bye. Hey everybody, <clears throat> I'm here at the McPillow Cemetery in Mount Sterling, Kentucky. This is where my mother and father-in-law are buried. Two of my sister-in-laws, O.G. and Sue, O.G.'s husband Don, and several other of uh, J.L.'s uh, family. His, he's got aunts and uncles that are buried here. There's a lot of people that I've known through the years that are buried here. This is a really big cemetery. It's pretty. You can see some of the graves behind me. But anyway, we're meeting here. The family, um, Daly and Elvy, they came in from Middletown. Their daughter, Sandy, brought them. And uh, they've been visiting. Earlier this morning, I think, they visited Elvy's family in different places up, I think, above Frenchburg. And then we met at the Jeffersonville uh, chamber Cemetery. Now that we're at McPilla, so I'm just going to turn this around. I won't be on here very long, 
but I just wanted to share this day with you all. Let me turn this around if I don't pan it too fast. Okay. So everybody's up here, I think, at my um, mother and father and father-in-law's graves. Josephine Craft Carpenter and Daily Carpenter. And let's see. They've got some really beautiful monuments in the cemetery. I love this one. I don't remember seeing that. Well, the, no, I didn't. I don't remember seeing that last year. That is beautiful. It's got the, a dog and two horses on it. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. See if I can find my my mother and father in law's grave. Let's see. Well, where's Jay's mom and dad's monument? I'm. Are you posing? Well. Well, okay, I wasn't back far enough. There it is. It's a beautiful monument. I love that. Okay, that's my mother and father-in-law's monument there. I saw another carpenter one back there. It's a door on it. That is, uh, oh, okay. yeah. I'm going to go down here. Jail's. Uh, let's see. Okay, over here's Jail's. Aunt and Uncle. Selden and Dora. Did he say that was Dora's brother? Selden. Yeah. Okay. That's my father in law's brother and his wife. Let's see. September 19th, 2000, and October 9th, 2000. I remember that they had passed away pretty close together. <clears throat> Down here somewhere is, yeah, here, here's O.G.'s grave, which is Jail's um, sister, O.G., and her husband, Don. This is their grave right here. I was fortunate enough to um, meet O.G. and Don before they passed away. O.G. Um, had cancer when I married J.L., but I got to know O.G. and Don. I got to be around them a lot before they passed away. And let's see. Around here somewhere is his other sister. There's a lot more monuments up here since I was here last. That's why I'm getting misplaced. Let me turn this around and let you see part of this. This is a huge, huge cemetery. This is located off of um, East Locust Street in Mount Sterling, Kentucky. Hey, Anna. I found OG, but I can't find Sue. Where Sue's at? That's down too far. Um, when I first started coming up here with JL, most of these monuments weren't even up on this end. There's a, uh, this place is really growing. We're at, oh, okay, I was down too far. Okay, this is my husband's other mm -hmm. sister, Stella Sue, and uh, her husband's still living, Buck, but Sue and O.G. Um, died shortly after Jay and I married, but I was fortunate enough to get to know them before they did. Jay and I married in November of 98, and uh, 
Sue died in March of 99 and OG died in 2000, October I believe it was. Anyway, I just wanted to share this day with you all. And I hope that you're able to be with your family and friends. And, you know, we don't none know what tomorrow brings. And if you still have family members, don't never fail to tell them that you love them because you never know when it may be the last chance you get. And this coming Tuesday at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, my sister-in-law, Carla Reeves, and I are going to be doing part two of my um, live stream, Trusting God Through Grief, because absolutely, if it hadn't been for the Lord, I wouldn't even be standing here to be able to tell you uh, anything, because God truly brought me through it. Um, I had suffered losses of parent, grandparents, aunts, uncles, friends, but nothing hurt me or affected me as uh, deeply as losing my husband, J.L. Carpenter. And I made a promise after he passed away that as long as I've got a breath in my body, I am going to keep his memory alive through stories, through videos, whatever means that I can. Um, there's Kathleen, one of the uh, jail sisters. But like God said, this is a sweet family. I love them to death. God blessed me with a wonderful, wonderful uh, in-laws. And uh, I wouldn't take anything for them. And uh, I appreciate you watching my videos and supporting me. And you all just have a wonderful rest of the day. And um, hopefully I'll see you on my live stream this coming Tuesday night. I see, I don't know what the date is. Today's 27th, 28th, I guess it'd be 29th, May 29th at 7 o'clock, 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, and Carla and I are going to be doing our live stream on trusting God through grief. So if you know somebody that's going through a sudden loss or if you just, if you have family or friends that you're trying to support and be there for them, um, don't miss this live stream and share it and tweet it and comment on it. And I need to get the message out to as many people as I can of a prayer answering God who will give you strength and comfort through the most devastating times of your life. And there's nothing more devastating than losing someone. So you all have a wonderful, blessed day. Good morning everybody. This is my uh, Memorial Day video part two. Yesterday Ann and I visited JL's family in, in Jeffersonville and in Mount Sterling, Kentucky. And this morning we're on our way from um, Clay City in Powell County to Ashland, Kentucky to visit my dad's grave. And I have a lot of uh, relatives buried in Ashland Cemetery, but it's just too far to have to go there yesterday. So I want to edit this and piece it all together and see what happens. But anyway, um, it's a beautiful cemetery. I love it there. The only problem is we're about two hours away from it, so it makes it hard to get down there on a regular basis. But anyway, I'll turn this camera around. There you go. We're on Route 11 coming out of Clay City towards Mount Sterling. So I hope you all had a, a wonderful Memorial Day with your family and your friends. And I'm going to end this and I'll see you in Ashland, Kentucky. Anyway, we're in Ashland. We've been visiting family. Uh, and I didn't wasn't able to take a video of that. Mom, do I make a left? Anyway, yeah, okay. Anna. Make, make a left at this light. Okay. We're in Ashland. There's Anna driving. Hi. And we stopped and visited my grandmother's cousin, Tom Ross. He's 92. He's a World War II veteran. He was in the in the Navy during World War II, and he's had several strokes, and he's not doing real well, but he's he's a sweetheart. We just come from my other cousin. Um, I don't what what is Everett, about my third. He was my great, great. No, I think he might be. Fourth? Maybe. I'm you know, my great uncle on my dad's side, that's his grandson. So I tell you, I've lost a lot of relatives. 
So anyway, it's been a good day of visiting, but, and I wasn't able to get the video of that, but we're on our way to the cemetery where my dad's buried, my cousin Christine, another cousin Jean. I've got aunts and uncles, and I don't know what all buried there in Ashton Cemetery. So, turn that around. So we're on our way to the Ashton Cemetery. This is the main road in uh, going into Ashton. I think this is called 13th Street. I always did like Ashland. It's kind of a quaint little place. I thought I was going to get out today and walk around the cemetery, but as you can see, it's raining. You're just so, going to have to get a video from the car. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Um, I put a, one of those saddle flowers on the monument last year for my dad and Christina and on Memorial Day. And where we live two hours away, we don't get a chance to get to Ashland much and that thing's been there since then. I don't know if it's still there or not. I anchored it down last year. But uh, so we just came to Ashland today to check on the cemetery. Visited the cemetery yesterday. Whoa. And uh, but I didn't know it was gonna do this. I knew they were calling for rain, but I didn't know it was gonna be this rain, did you? Well, um, I think that it's from that hurricane or something. Roberto, Roberto. I guess is its name. I, I think Roberto. it's coming from that. <laughs> Whatever its name is. It's still a dude name, so it's not that strong right now. <laughs> That's all I know. Anyway, I'm going to leave this on for a minute. Because that, that street going up by King's Daughters, yeah. hospital, it's kind of a cool area. Well, you do. It's a big hospital. It started out as a little teeny hospital and they built onto it. And King's Daughters has bought a lot of uh, uh, property in the area. And they've got a heart institute in there. And, and see, I don't know. Oh, in, front of, in front of us is the bridge going over to Ohio. Well, I know you don't go that far. Do I take a ride at this light? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We, we hang right right here. Well, I mean, not right here. Probably. On that video, it's clear enough. You can see that bridge going over to Ohio. Probably not. Okay, uh, help me. Is it this yeah, one? Just, yeah, right here. Lexington Avenue? Yeah. And right. There, there will be some pretty cool houses up in here. Yeah, that's why I'm leaving the video on because I think this is a really neat little town. My uncle ever... Well, you better get some of the houses. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you better... Well, thank you, Anna. You're welcome. <laughs> My uncle Everett Reeves was. I know the, there's there's some more. Those are some of the pretty ones yeah. right up in here. Anyway, my uncle Everett Reeves was the mayor of Ashland for um, uh, years back in the it. back in the '60s. That's Central Park, and they decorate that park really cool during Christmas, don't they, Anna? I mean, I've never been up here, so I don't know. Oh, you've never seen it? I've never Christmas? seen it during Christmas. And I don't know if anybody remembers Chuck Woolery that had that um, dating show on back in the 90s. Um, we just passed a road that they named after him because he's from this area. Oh, there's the pond area. Yeah, that's a, a really cool park. Anna and I have got a park down here before and got out and walked. Uh, I always did like Ashland. And there's the King's Daughters Hospital where my um, great aunt was born in the original one back in 1930. So that's how long that's been around and they've just over the Which years... Which great aunt? Um, Christine's mom. Ah, uh, okay. Orville's sister. Okay. My granddad's sister. Okay. And, uh, yeah, the, it's just pretty cool. So that's why we had my dad buried here. They already had a, a plot in the Ashland Cemetery, and he's from, he was actually born up on Straight Creek in Carter County, which is just a county over from Boyd County. But, so he grew up here in Ashland a lot. Whoa, bump. <laughs> I don't know the streets in Ashland are really weird. 
Anyway, I wouldn't have left the video on, but it's it's really not that far from that main, that 13th Street to down here. What do I do? Um, stay to the left. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll try, but I can't guarantee you that I'll make it. Um, yeah, just stay to the left. I don't know what they're doing up here. My word. That says road closed. Um, what do we do? Okay. Maybe I'm not going to the cemetery. Um, well, I don't know. Well, hold on. Can we... I'm going confused. Up. There's people driving through go here. Hey, everybody. Well, this is a blooper. Go on and go past the road close sign because that's where the well, cemetery... Well, that's where that car just came from. That's where the cemetery's at. So just go on up there. Well, you know, we'll figure it out in due time, I guess. Okay. Well, apparently something happened here. Okay, just keep going. Uh, blame it on me if we get a ticket. That's where the cemetery is. I'm the at. one driving, so it's on my record. <laughs> well, apparently the cemetery is open. I would say that you can get out for a little bit, but um, not there a whole lot. Here's the cemetery. And I would keep. No, Mom, you're literally in the middle of my pillar thing. You need to have it right there. Okay. The, this cemetery is every bit as big as the McPillot Cemetery, or maybe even bigger. What do you think, Anna? Who and knows? Who knows? Anyway. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, look at it. Ain't that cute? Oh, that is cute. Oh, uh, well, the saddle thing ain't there no more. I didn't think it would be. Anyway. It's my dad's. Are we getting out? Yeah, we. I think we I can. Think, it ain't raining I think right we now. Can, so. Let's see. Let me pull this back. If it starts raining, I'll I'll get back in. Let me see if I can get out. Hold on a minute. I'm old, and it takes me a minute to get out. Anyway, this is my um, dad's first cousin, Christine. Her mom was um, my granddad's sister. And she died uh, giving birth to Christine in 1930 um, at the King's Daughters Hospital I just showed you. And they've never been here to, they've got July the 2nd, 1930, but they've never put her death date on here yet. I forgot what the death date was. Just what about about a year ago, I think. Yeah. Do you and need me to hold that real quick? Yeah, you do it. Okay. You tell. I can't tell a whole lot. You can. Okay, I'm can just you? gonna hold it. Yeah. Just don't drop my camera. I'm not. Anyway, this is Harry Eugene, which he's like a distant cousin, but he's uh, Christine's first cousin on her um, dad's side, and he was my big fishing buddy. Harry Eugene was. And he died in 07 in February, and then my dad died in um, hey Mom, June. We only have like 24 minutes on this battery lift. If you're wanting to show in the rest of the cemetery, we're going to have to like. Well, go. yeah, it won't, it won't take that long. Okay. Anyway, we were big fishing buddies, but he died just months before my dad did. And Harry, wait a minute, let's show him this. Harry was in the uh, U.S. Navy during Korea, and somebody's put the flags out here. And then this is my dad, Vernon Eugene Reeves, and he was born in 1934 and died in 07. And he was uh, in the Air Force in uh, Korea and Vietnam. And then my mom's got a, her foot stone, of course my mom is still living, but they've got her stone here. And what Christine had done is she had went um, right after Jean had died and she got the, the monument and since she already had all these plots um, taken up, then she gave one to my dad and one to my mom. And so she just had Rice, Reeves, and Williams all put on this one big monument. And this is a picture of Gene when he was in the Navy. 
right there. And there's little squirrels. They're cute. Okay. Before, well, um, I hear thunder, so it's untelling what's going to happen. So, anyway, I just wanted to share well, Memorial Day with everybody. I want to go show them the cool thing. But Anna wants to show, show you Yeah, I'm going real quick because I can walk fast. All right. So, this part's like old. Uh, I'm not as good as talker as mommy is, so bear with me. But there's like some stuff from 1700. It's super cool. Ugh. And before it starts raining, I'm just going to do this real quick. This is my favorite place to come. I know that sounds super weird being in the cemetery, being like cool or whatever. But there's like just these. What? I've got another battery if that one goes. Okay. Um, there's these people there. It's all like 18 and 1700 stuff. I have no clue who these people are. But it's really cool. See like. 1700 and something and on the other side you have the original stones so that's super cool then you got all this space and these people with that cool looking woman sitting there and these i don't know the purpose of those but i guess they were married and decided to have these things sitting on top of them and then they got this little woman sitting there i guess grieving and it's just really pretty. This is a really nice cemetery. Yeah, it I is. I really enjoy. It's really old. We'll take you by the mausoleum thing over there. And the car. I ain't walking all the um, way over there. Yeah, Here, give me you the take car. that back. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to shut the camera off for just a minute. Whoa. Hold a minute. You didn't pull it back. <laughs> Our fancy camera work. Anyway, I'm going to turn the thing off for a minute and get in the car and then uh, change batteries. Okay, we're back. I had to change batteries. Okay. Anyway, Anna wants to take you around and show the cemetery. Okay, well, we'll since we're kind of like this way, we're going to go with. I've, uh, I've got countless relatives. It's untelling. I've got aunts and uncles and cousins. Oh, I want to... Okay, so where is it? There's the thing where there was like that 16-year-old... Um, oh, that is a really cool um, mausoleum. There's just one grave in it, and it's a what? Is that the one you're thinking of? I think so. It is this? I think it was a 16-year-old boy that died like what 100 years ago. Or something. I don't know. It's been a while, and I can't think of where it is. We ought to show them that trailer too. That is the coolest trailer. There's somebody living in this single white There's trailer. There's a Taft. There's a Taft mausoleum right there. Yeah. And they see like showing like the the little like oh, Jesus picture in it. Oh, it? yeah, let me get out. Okay, well, I, well, no, it's I have starting to park. Hold on a minute, it's starting to rain. Let it is? Get, yeah, I think I can pull it up. Can you all see that? Maybe, hopefully. There's a, it's a, it's a stained glass window, so the light from the outside casts on there, and it's a really cool picture. Okay, let me pull it back. Okay. Sorry, y'all, for the... Fancy camera work. Let's see. There's a mausoleum place like where we had grandpa's. Yeah, that's where I had we had my dad's um, funeral in there. I'm trying to find a 16 year old kid. There's another Before we leave, yeah. I want to show them that really cool trailer. Oh. Somebody's living in this trailer just off of the uh, cemetery property. And uh, it looks like a trailer that was built in like 1950. Just got that 50-ish look to it. Hey, they got it open. Well, I mean, it's Memorial Day. I'm sure people's got family in there. Yeah, they usually open them uh, so anybody can go in there during Memorial Day. It's what we did last, was it last year. Yeah, we went in there. We can go in there if you want. I mean, are we allowed to park here? Um, just for a minute. We're not going to be in there very long. Just, I don't know, is our purses? Should we leave our purses? I don't think that'd be a good idea. You got your, I hope you have your key. Huh? I hope you have your key. Let me put my hand on the strap so I don't drop it. Whoa. I didn't know it was going to be all this 
lightning and stuff today. Hopefully this will show up. They have got several mausoleums on this in the cemetery. Mm -hmm. That is a really cool picture. You know, I never really paid that much attention to what was on there. That is neat. I'm trying to be slow at this because I know some people that like takes videos of stuff. It was like two seconds and you can't even tell what they were trying to take a picture of. That's cool. Wow. Ah, it smells so good. They got this little thing sitting Yeah, it smells better than it did yeah. the last time that we were here. They have got some beautiful uh, stained glass windows in these things. There's been a lot of people here this weekend to decorate. Man, there's some old graves in here. Let's see. Or not graves, but like crypts. Something. 1868 to 1830. 1858 to 1936. Wow, there's one 18. Uh, 1870 to 1916. Hey, I found a hundred year old. Wow. That one there must have been a, a veteran. Huh? I said I found a hundred year I don't want to go too fast with this. Was there like a picture? No, it was just a date. Yeah, I'm probably related to him. My um, great grandma, her maiden name was Holbrook. On my on my dad's side. Eighteen. What is it? Eighteen ninety seven. Nineteen ninety seven. Wow. So depending on the month, they was either ninety nine or hundred years old. Okay. And uh, something I don't know if. This is something I'm pointing out. A lot of people were Masons, and so you'll see a little Masons. Um, little, yeah, there's, there's like a the, lot of Masonic graves in the cemetery. Because there's the El Hasa Mason Shriner building. I don't know the actual name of them, but I know I see it. I've never. Did, did you notice these here before? What? Oh, these little fences? Nope. I don't remember but, them being there but before. But they've got names. So yeah. I don't know why they're there because those people aren't monks. Those are. Yeah. So I don't know. That's pretty cool. Well, you might uh, want to get back in the car real quick. I don't know if y'all can hear that thunder, but it's fixing to come a bad storm if it didn't already. I'm just going to look on the other side real quick. Yeah, they've got quite a few flowers on this side, too. I like this picture right here. On this stained glass window. Anyway, I'm going to get back in the car before I get poured on. Okay. I'm going to turn the... I'm going to turn this off for a minute and I'll uh, look for that mausoleum that Ann is talking about. That's cool. Okay. I'm back in the car. <laughs> She's trying to find that 16 year old I'm pretty that's in sure. that mausoleum. Just, I don't know. Is that even a. That's not really not, a mausoleum. What no, is that? Mom, okay. Hold on. Calm down. I'm calm. <laughs> It's not exactly a mausoleum. It's like a monument, but it's how the monument's made is what's really cool about it. And um, if I can find it, that'd be great. I just don't Let's know where see. it is. I think I take a maybe I take a right here. Last time, well, I, I believe we it's walked up, everywhere. I believe the it's last up time. on that end of the cemetery, if I'm not mistaken. 
But anyway, I want to go by this trailer. This is, is really cool. Hold on, there it is. I see it. I see it. It's that thing sitting there. With the, with the roof? I don't know if it's got a roof on it. Oh, this? Hold on. It might. Right there. See it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, stop a minute. Oh, bless his heart. There's uh, There are flowers on it. You can't get out unless I park. See, and, and the thing is, it's really sad. There's a ton of leaves in there, and that's where, like, there's, like, a little poem type thing, and you can't actually see it because of yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, I'd get out and show you, but, yeah, the leaves has got it. That's sad. There's a padlock on it, but there's a big poem on there that um, covers the whole thing. And what was he, 15? I, he was young. That's all I know. And let me, pant, let me zoom this out again. But, um... Yeah, it's pretty sad. There's something sitting in front of you. I don't know what that is. What is that? White. Louisa, 1869 to 1940, 1870 to 40-something. Thomas and Louisa White. Oh, well, and I have no clue. But, but yeah, it's... There's a lot of these little monuments and mausoleums in this. There's the trailer. Oh, my gosh, it burnt down. Well, no, I think that was something that was, like, to it. Oh, she's right. Because, see, they're building something right there. Okay, I'm sorry. My bad. Um, let's see if I can just kind of zoom up on it. That is a really cool looking trailer. Well, it's, uh, it used to be painted different. It was all cute and they've made it like black and red. It doesn't look the same. Uh uh. Maybe that's why I thought it had burned. Okay, right, well, there's Mosley again. Right there. That where we have grandpa's funeral. Yeah. Okay. It is a stunning rain, so I don't know. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Let me turn this. I'm gonna turn this back around. If I can. Whoops. Well, here's. <laughs> I'm zooming in on myself. Anyway, we've just we've had two really long days visiting family, and yesterday visited two cemeteries and today visited the Ashland Cemetery and visited uh, family, um, cousins. But anyway, I hope that you all had a wonderful uh, Memorial Day weekend and I thank every uh, man and woman who has served our country and I hope that, um, that everybody's doing well and what else? You got something to say? Just remember that you're never alone in this journey, that God loves you, we love you. Um, surround yourself with positive people that will encourage you and help you to uh, navigate through your journey of grief.